here we're going to look at a special classification of hormones called sex hormones. Now these sex hormones are steroid hormones, and they're produced by the ovaries, testes, or adrenal cortex, and they affect both growth and function of reproductive organs, as well as the development of secondary sex characteristics. Three we're going to focus on in this lecture series are testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. We see this um, average hormone production over age uh, for sex hormone production in both men and women. And we can see here it's clearly not consistent over someone's lifespan. There will be different ages that there are certain peaks and drop-offs that occur. Estrogen is typically considered the female hormone and testosterone the male hormone, even though they occur in both genders. Starting with testosterone, it is produced in the ovaries in women, in the testes in men, and the adrenal glands in both genders. It stimulates the development of what's typically associated as male characteristics. It plays an important role during male puberty, sparking growth spurts, hair growth, and genital changes. As a male ages, uh, the testosterone will decrease. At age 25, we're looking at here, we have about 100%, and we saw this slowly de degradation as the male ages. At age 60, that same male will only have about 45 to 50 percent of the testosterone they had when they were 25. Some of the influences of testosterone, you can see different areas influenced here, such so as the skin, uh, the brain, the bone marrow, and muscles. Uh, muscles, in particular, it is involved with increasing muscle mass and also strength. Testosterone may be used in um, certain steroids or performance enhancing drugs because a lot of people want to increase muscle mass and strength. And testosterone is one hormone that can influence that. Moving on to estrogen, which is typically considered the female hormone, uh, it affects both men and women though. It helps control the menstrual cycle uh, and protects bone health and keeps cholesterol in control. It's also critical to fertility. It's produced primarily in the ovaries, which is produces the woman's eggs. However, it's also produced in the adrenal glands, which also makes some of this estrogen, which is why both men and women will have estrogen, at least in small amounts for men, because both have adrenal glands located near the kidneys. The last hormone here, progesterone, is involved in fertility in the in menstruation and are largely controlled by hormones, one of them being progesterone. It prepares the endometrium for potential pregnancy after ovulation. You can see here a graph of how it's changing during the menstrual cycle here. It can also trigger the thickening, the lining to thicken and accept a fertilized egg in females. So those are just a quick overview of the three sex hormones.